Hey guys, Dr. Michael Derry here. So we're gonna talk about improving hip mobility when you have lower back pain or discomfort. The lumbar spine and the hips are highly connected and when I work with clients to say they have back pain, they always tell me that their hips are stiff. And it's in the two major ranges of motion of the hip that are usually stiff or we're gonna go over those. But I wanted to go give you some surefire ways to improve some of that hip mobility because when I work with clients and they want to improve their back pain, we have to work on the hips. It's called the lumbopelvic complex. So working into the hips is really important. I'm going to go over two of my favorite exercises to work into hip mobility deficits and give you that an amazing mobility in your hips that you're looking for. It is earned. There is a little bit of work. You're going to want to be on the ground for this because we're going to leverage our body weight how to do and into these exercises and learn how to do them. We have to use our body weight because the hips are big, strong joints and we need to actually put some pressure in them to induce some change. I will show you how to do it, how what it should feel like, and I'll put the dosage or the recommended um, parameters around the exercise, how much to do that and how long to hold it. I'll put that in the description, but I want to start off with just improving your hip mobility and why we need to improve our hips when we have lower back discomfort. All right, gang, so here's our first exercise in improving hip mobility. So when people work into hip mobility and they want to improve their hip mobility when they have back discomfort, it's usually into external rotation, what you're seeing in this position right here. That external rotation range is that same range that we need to put our shoes and socks on, this range right here, or that piriformis stretch that we've done in the past. That's all hip extension range of motion. Internal rotation, we just don't have as much range of motion in our hips and it doesn't necessarily make us feel stiff in my experience because the external rotators sit in the back and we love to loosen those things up because their line of pull on your back are, are, are big. You can definitely feel it when you do it. And so the pigeon pose is my first external rotation improving exercise we're going to do. And then we're going to move into a hip flexor, a weighted hip flexor stretch to help improve hip extension range of motion. That, that range of motion where your leg is going behind you, the one that goes behind you because that behind range of motion improves our walking ability. It improves a lot of things in our lives and hip extension and lower back extension, that ability to stand tall are highly connected. So let's go over the pigeon pose first and then we'll go into the weighted hip flexor stretch. Feel free to fast forward what you want, but I'm gonna go over what it should feel like, what the form should be and how to do it. So here we go. All right, pigeon pose. So I'm gonna start with my right leg first. I'm gonna bring it all the way forward and then that left leg's gonna be straight behind me. Now for me, my hips are a little stiff, um, and so you're gonna see that I'm a little bit limited into my range. What I tell people is you have to get on the floor for this, like you just have to, the bed is just too soft. Um, this leg can be bent to start, and we're just gonna try to drive our chest to the ground in front of us, right there. And when I do that, I'm going to feel a stretch either in my groin or in my butt muscles in the leg that's behind me not the leg that's behind me, this leg right here. So when I go into that pigeon pose, I'm pulsing into that range and I'm coming out, just like that. Now, that leg behind me is fairly straight, but I, if I can lean into it a little bit, I can feel the front of that leg stretching as well. Chirp, chirp, huh? <laughs> So we're gonna dive into that pigeon pose here. I've got a lot of weight into this arm. I usually tell people about 10 reps with about a three to five second hold diving into that range and then coming back. Now, if you feel groin discomfort here, you're gonna to wanna to change up the range of motion of your hips so you don't feel that as much. Even if you have to go through here at first, that's okay too. There's a wide range or an arc here that you can play around with to still get the hip extension stretch but not have like groin discomfort. We don't want groin discomfort. So that's working into external rotation. I'll show you on the other side. Now that side's loosened up. All right, I'm gonna, ooh, this one's my sticky hip. It's a little stiffer on me. Oh, and that's all of my glue. Oof. Ugh. All right, I'll show you here from this range of motion here, diving into that external rotation stretch and then coming out. Oh, here and out. Now this is a yoga-based move. A lot of people are like, I can never do this. It doesn't really matter where you start. Like your first one could be as easy as this and moving into it like where you're not really feeling much of a pull or that leg could be directly behind you and some of my clients can get their chest to the ground. It's wild. But that external rotation range of motion that you see here is very important and we're working into that. Now we're gonna pulse into that again 10 times, about a five second hold. I get to talking so my five seconds isn't truly five seconds, but it's a little bit of a less hold than you think. 
Okay, so we just got done improving a hip external rotation through the pigeon pose. Now we're gonna go into a weighted hip flexor stretch. Now, if you have any type of knee pain, make sure you put a pillow underneath your knee here. But I'm gonna be tall with my body. I'm gonna stay nice and upright. And I'm gonna try to shift my weight forward while maintaining that upright position. I do not want to lean forward. I wanna maintain being upright and lunging forward. And what I feel is a huge stretch on that knee that's down. I'll show you on this side here. Again, like the other one, about 10 for about a five second hold. We're improving that mobility and coming up. Improving that mobility and coming up. Front of my hip lunging into that range. I don't care how far this knee is going forward right now. It's not the intent. The intent is just to loosen up those hips because we just want to improve some of that hip mobility. So we're gonna dive into that. There we go. Now, I would have a pillow under there. It's a little uncomfortable. I'm gonna slide my foot out a little more to get a little more of a stretch. I recommend doing this next to a chair or something just because we don't wanna worry about balance. And it's not great to have to worry about that right now. I'll switch it up again here. It's feeling great. Oh, and you should notice as you continue that you can go further and further into that range. We'll help improving that hip mobility, that back mobility, that hip extension range of motion. It's, it's amazing. Now, it's not exactly any strengthening. So in the clinic, or not in the clinic, when I go into people's homes, we dive into that hip mobility first, and then we get into strengthening. And we're able to continue improving from there. And so to get that true mobility, you wanna work into improving, unlocking those hips. We wanna work into that hip flexion range of motion or hip extension, hip flexor stretching, and then extension or external rotation of the hips, which we did with the pigeon pose. So I hope you guys find that information useful. Those are two of my favorite ways to loosen up those hips. Stand up, do a squat, see how you feel, walk around. I bet you your hips are gonna feel looser. And these are great ways to do it with, with lower back pain and discomfort. So hope you guys got something from it. Um, please refer to the description for more reps and sets. If you guys would, please subscribe to the channel and just leave some comments, engage. Um, some questions would be awesome. I wanna keep tailoring this so you guys can benefit from it. So um, as always guys, stay healthy, keep moving and take care of yourself.